Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is Praveen here. I hope you guys are extremely doing good. So in this video, we will be talking about the interview series. And uh, in this video, I'll be specifically covering Informatica as the company. Why I have applied to Informatica. What are the questions asked? How does this company will help you in the long term? And uh, basically, I will be talking about all the important things. May it be package, may it be work culture, where the company is located. What are the benefits the company gives and everything. So stay tuned till the end of the video and before going ahead like the video subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel and uh, stay tuned <laughs> with the company and uh, Informatica a top product based organization where you will find mainly the ETL flow data flow and everything Informatica deals with mainly data and uh, yes in every organization as I have told you the DevOps engineers are very much important so in this company I was selected as a senior DevOps engineer and uh, this company is situated in Bangalore and uh, the work culture the employee benefits was awesome and they have free food they have uh, uh, the eShops they have have the joining bonus they have very huge package level so definitely check out and uh, the link to apply will be in the description so definitely check out guys and I would like to let you all know Informatica is very very good company coming to the work-life balance so yes I have applied through LinkedIn again the job portal and uh, also the referral was uh, helped me uh, through LinkedIn only so definitely LinkedIn is the best platform as I have told you in many of my videos position selected as I've told you senior DevOps engineer screening exam there was no screening exam and uh, yes the questions asked were tough and they have given me a question to write down in their IDE also so we'll be talking about all those things so stay tuned number of rounds there were three rounds in total two technical and one manager round and the link to apply again I have given in the description so just check out each round duration was 60 to 90 minutes so make sure you have good internet connectivity you are stably sitting at your home relax position and you are making sure to the interviewer that yes select me boss and I'll be the best candidate for your team right yes so we'll be moving ahead into the round one so the first question was mainly focusing on to the Kubernetes so what is no definitely what is for definitely anyways the introduction and everything will be there I've skipped that I'm directly going into the question section so make sure the video is scripts so what is no definitely for definitely so basically no definitely ensures that the the pods are hosted on the particular nodes for definitely again if, if two pods are there and you want to make sure both the pods are on the same node the pod affinity will be very much helpful so make sure uh, I will be uh, flashing some screenshots on the screen so you will be able to understand what is node affinity what is pod affinity based on the match expression and the values both of them are tied together so that's how you should be uh, giving the answer to the first question this is basically a scheduler which is uh, which will help your Kubernetes pods to scale up and scale down uh, and the HPA we have scale equal to one scale equal to three uh, minimum equal to one maximum equal to five so make sure you know all these things uh, what is master slave configuration in Jenkins setup so yes uh, a very detailed answer I have given because I was working as the admin of the Jenkins uh, so make sure you know this answer very well and here the next question comes in how the Jenkins backup is taken very much important because uh, uh, what happens is they will be asking you what is a folder you need to take the backup how your Jenkins backup is actually done so you need to make sure there was a cron job which actually takes up the backup every time so if you have not seen my shell scripting session and the free bootcamp so just hit the I button you will get all the 10 scenarios and you can directly keep in your resume so how the certificates are added to the load balancer so certificates are nothing but how you form the URL right www.amazon.com www.youtube.com so these all endpoints are coming with the certificate and certificates you can procure from Amazon certificate manager you can procure from your uh, uh, DG certs right and many other uh, providers are there which gives you the certificates and those certificates you actually if you have taken from the DigiCert you actually uh, club those certificates or upload those certificates into the Amazon certificate manager and then bind those certificates with the load balancer and when you are hitting that www.youtube.com or www.helloworld.com that is first hitting to the load balancer and load balancer because you have given the certificates load balancer will redirect 
to the particular instance and that instance is in your target group so make sure you are knowing all these things how many types of ec2 instances yes there are i think five types of ec2 instances so just check out uh, many types but just check out on this answer uh, what are the types of rds and how you set up the disaster recovery very important question many of you have asked me Praveen, how the dr is set up so basically in our organization the dr was set up in two regions maybe us east and us west and we had the similar architecture in both the regions and both the regions were having the traffic based on the uh, route 53 and uh, you will see routing policies right uh, uh, latency based routing round robin based uh, routing uh, and also geogra geographical location based routing so make sure uh, you are knowing all the routing policies of route 53 and if you are an aws admin you should be knowing all these things. Uh, write a shell script on log archive for 15 days. Again, this was the script which was asked and you can co write down in Python also. And uh, definitely whatever the uh, coding language you are good at, you can be able to write these things. So what is the Helm folder structure? The Helm folder structure is very much important question guys. And, uh, and make sure you are answering the best way, right? So Helms are basically uh, like again, uh, how you make sure you are uh, Maven is converting your project into the jar right similarly uh, we have helm uh, which is making sure our application is converted into the charts so yes the chart file structure uh, will be seeing a chart.yaml the license readme.yaml values.yaml charts folder uh, the credentials folder the templates folder so all those things i'll be again giving this screenshot on your video so so you will be able to answer all those things in a world particular uh, manner uh, values.yaml the default configurations will be there charts are directly containing any charts upon which this chart depends on right so make sure you are knowing all these things i'll be giving them in a screenshot so what is the difference between replica set and deployment very very much important so replica set is basically helping your uh, application to scale up right so let's take you have a pod and your application is receiving some hundred amount of tra traffic at a particular time now let's assume that this traffic is triple it means 300 times the traffic it is getting received so then this is replica set based on the traffic or based on the cpu based on the any uh, point of time to trigger it will be uh, helping your application to uh, scale up and scale down so basically at any point of time these replica sets will make sure your pods are that much at given point of time right a def deployment is basically a higher level concept that manages replica sets basically and provides your pods with huge useful features so deployment is one step ahead with your uh, this thing replica set right uh, so make sure you are knowing all these things because very very much important and uh, these are actually the kubernetes ask questions yes so we'll be going into the next set what is ingress control and load balancer load balancer is basically your application where your application traffic is controlled uh, for the kubernetes it is ingress controller where based on the context part based on the port uh, behind your kubernetes the ingress controller will be placed and it will be routing the traffic to the load balancer and load balancer will be redirecting the traffic into the pods so it's like three layer first is ingress controller next is uh, load balancer next will be your pod what is uh, private subnet and public subnet in aws yes very much important what is proxy and proxy pass in apache uh, if you are a apache admin uh, or a middleware admin you will be able to answer this question so proxy and proxy pass are able to redirect your request from one server to another server and uh, let's take your proxy and proxy pass is something like if the request is coming from slash hello you will be able to redirect to www.helloworld2.com right so that kind of request redirection will be uh, done with the help of proxy and proxy pass what is neural query language nql very much important if you are a monitoring slash devops engineer you should be knowing that how the grafana and elk setup in your organization is done this i have covered specifically in session monitoring so make sure this i is there the complete monitoring session is there for your uh, understanding and also I have shared the documents also so make sure you are able to understand what is zombie processes in Linux so zombie processes the name itself tells some of the processes which are all not running but they will be they will be like a dead processes running in the system which will consume some memory and your CPU so it's it's important to kill all those processes uh, or make sure you have some automation written for those zombie processes yes write a shell script to check the PID of the jar and restart the process if it is not running again I have done that in the shell scripting session how to log in 
into the EC2 instances, the pen file is lost. Very much important. So pen is basically a, the, the secret key when you create the AWS EC2 instance, it will be given uh, by default to you so that whenever you are uh, losing that uh, key file, uh, you can able to uh, log in into that instance with uh, some set of process. I'll be telling you that right away. So make sure whenever you lost the key, right, secret key. Now what you need to do, every Linux system has a EBS, elastic block storage, right? Or let's take root volume. So what you need to do, stop the instance detach the root volume from the instance and then you attach this root volume to another instance which is already running and you will be able to uh, get the pen key files from this system so that's how it works and that's how all about uh, the manager questions were simple and uh, because I, I love <laughs> all the manager questions so mostly on your uh, technical as well as non-technical side they will cover why you like this organization why you are uh, actually willing to join as a senior DevOps engineer uh, what are your roles and responsibilities in your current organization uh, why specifically you are looking for this opportunity why a change from the current organization to the next organization uh, what are the certifications you have done all those things you need to answer in the manual round and make sure you are answering the best and also make sure you are confidently answering all those things right so with that said the informatica interview experience have been shared as an interview series so make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel and share with your friends and uh, let's meet in the next video all the important links of the free bootcamp as well as uh, all the other important links of this uh, in uh, informatic experience have been shared right so do check out and the playlist of everything is there in the description so let's meet in another video until then stay safe keep learning Bye.